step in my dojo, you step, 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 step. Step in my dojo, you step in my Hey, 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 what's up, people? It's Ill Gates coming at you from producerdojo.com with a killer tip for those of you who are live streaming using Universal Audio Sound Cards. So any streamer knows that those third-party routing solutions can be temperamental. They will often gobble a processor that you need for your DAW, or else they'll glitch out on you on a live stream and be very embarrassing. So I was looking for a native console, UAD Apollo console software based solution to accomplish all of my routing needs without relying on third party software. I needed to sum the audio from my DAW with the audio from my system and the audio from my microphone without letting the audio from my microphone pass through the speakers and cause feedback. The routing solutions out there that I saw were able to sum these three sources, but they were not able to exclude Mr. Microphone from coming out the speakers and causing feedback. This necessitated the use of headphones during streaming, which is fine if you're doing a podcast or a tutorial, but if you're putting in long studio days on a live stream, you can't wear headphones for 12 hours a day. All hearing damage aside, it also does this horrible thing where it crushes your ear cartilage and then when you have been doing it for a few days and you take the headphones off your ears start going back to their normal shape and it causes an excruciating headache i used to suffer from migraines this was worse so please don't wear headphones for 12 hours a day i don't want that to happen to you so uh, i'm going to go over here now and i'm going to hop into my screen view so i can show you that this does in fact work here is my ableton one thing video please enjoy the nice crispy system audio. Hi, I'm Ill Gates, and one thing that I love to do is make chaotic recordings of parameter movements while resampling them. I call the file that results a mud pie. Thanks, Ill Gates. All right, now let's go over to my DAW, and you can hear the track that I'm working on. It's a VIP drum and bass remix of my track, Trapezoid with Unk. What's the trapezoid? What's the trapezoid? All right, I'll save the rest of that for another day. Okay, so how did I accomplish this? Well, let's go over to the UAD console software and I'll show you how it's done. So in the UAD console software at the bottom left, there is this settings button. When you click the settings button, it opens up your settings. First, you will need to go to the hardware settings and turn on some virtual channels. So I'm not using a whole lot of virtual channels, but I need at least two channels, so I've set it here. Then if you go to the IO or input output matrix, you can route the audio from your, your monitor mix coming out of console into inputs one and two. You do that here by selecting monitor and then selecting monitor L and monitor R for channels one and two respectively. This means that your whole monitor mix is coming through to your software, which is very important because if you go to OBS, you can see here that when I pick my sound card in the properties, I don't get any mixing options here. All I get is the option to choose which sound card to use. In my case, I've selected my Universal Apollo Thunderbolt, and that is the audio that is coming through console. So when you, without making these changes, uh, set your DAW audio to master one and two, it is going to just come out the, hang on just a moment, it's going to come out the master fader here without appearing in the mixer channels, allowing you to do routing or add UAD plugins or whatever. So that's why step one is to go to the hardware tab and to activate two virtual channels. Then in the IO matrix, you're going to want to set outputs one and two to virtual one and virtual two. So once again, inputs one and two are monitor L and monitor R and outputs one and two are virtual one and virtual two. This means that anything from the DAW now is gonna come in on this virtual channel, Apollo 8 virtual, and it's gonna allow me to do things like, for example, put a limiter. If I wanna mix into a limiter in a low latency situation, I can instantiate a UAD limiter and have a fantastic loudness without too much latency. Uh, and it also allows me to accomplish Q routing, which is the secret sauce. So if you look over here at the control 
control room section of my UAD console software, you will see- Have you heard why loudness comes from empty space? In my Composing the Mix workshop, I will teach you how to take away from your mix to give a bigger sound and a deeper impact. So, if you look over here at the control room section of my UAD console software, you will see that I have selected Q1 to go through my speakers and not mix. If I had mix selected, the unmuted microphone that you see over here on the first channel of the console, that would be going through my speakers and causing feedback. I want to exclude it, so I've selected Q1 here. You can turn on your Q outputs with this Q outputs tab. You just click this little guy, and then you can select from mix, which is the default selection to Q1 and Q2. In my case, I have Q1, which is routed to my speakers, and and Q2, which is routed to my subwoofer. I like having a shorter signal path to my speakers for better sound quality, and I like to have independent control over my sub, so that's why I do it that way. So now to route your system audio into that same virtual channel, you need to go to the audio MIDI setup. You can search and type in audio MIDI setup and that will get it. Uh, I have it loaded up here and you can select sound cards and adjust their properties. For some reason, it does not allow you to adjust the mutes or the volumes of the different channels there. I don't know why that is. I'm not an Apple developer, but that is a limitation that we have to deal with. So to get your DAW routed to virtual one and two, you must go to this configure speakers tab. And when you click this, you can select virtual one and two as the default output routing for everything that is routed to one and two in your sound card. That means that if I were to instantiate contact or my web browser or whatever, all of that default audio routing is going to the one and two in the console software. Then once you're in there, the key to getting the, con the channels in the console to come through the queue is this little sends tab. When you click on this, this will open up your send routing. And when I have Q1 and Q2 up, as you can see, it's up on all of my channels. Those channels will come out my monitors and my sub. The one channel that is not coming out my monitors and sub is this microphone channel. I've activated the mute on both the monitor and sub Q outputs, and that is preventing the feedback. That is the magic trick that prevents feedback and allows you to accomplish accomplish all this routing. So once again, this is accomplished in the settings tab. You go to the settings tab, you turn on two virtual channels in the settings tab, and then the IO matrix out inputs one and two should be monitor L and R respectively, and outputs one and two should be virtual one and virtual two. Then in your audio MIDI setup, if you go to your UAD sound card and configure speakers, you set those to virtual one and virtual two. That will route all of the audio from your system through this channel, which you can apply whatever plugins you like and also apply whichever Q mix levels you like. Then you set your control room studio monitor source to be Q1, and then I have routed Q2 out my headphones here so that the second headphone output on my Apollo 8 becomes a subwoofer volume control. That's how it all works. Pretty handy, pretty cool, pretty useful, no third-party software required, and to my knowledge, this is the only tutorial about how to do this. So if you have found this useful and you appreciate me making these tutorials available for free, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friends. All that engagement does a lot towards making me want to make more free content because most of my content, and in fact, all of my best content, exists in the producerdojo.com community. That's where I run my record label. That's where I run my training camp and all of the just videos and videos and videos and videos and downloads, templates, sound packs, all that stuff exists over at producerdojo.com. And if you want access to the deepest and most comprehensive collection of music tutorials and downloads available anywhere on the internet at any price, producerdojo.com is your place. So please go check it out. All right, that's it for me today. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are, and I hope all of your streams go off without a hitch. This is Ill Gates signing off. Big love to Universal Audio and big love to you out there making the music of the future.